Okay, so here we're going to use our TI Inspire CX CAS to find the definite integral from 0 to 3 of the absolute value of x squared minus 4dx. And this problem presents a lot of problems for students because I think you guys sometimes have a hard time viewing what, seeing what, they're at, what you're being asked for. First off, what does this look like? What is the graph of this? So what does the graph of this look like? Well, the first thing I did was this. I just took out this inside piece, and I was like, you know what? When does, when does x squared minus 4, when does x squared minus 4 equal 0, right? So I'm trying to find the zeros of the inside portion of this absolute value. And I found out that x, it's when x is equal to plus or minus 2, right? So the next thing I'm going to do is this. I'm going to draw this because this is going to come up on the AP exam, and you're going to be forced to answer this question and have some idea of what's going on. This is x squared minus 4, so I hear, well, I can't really visualize this. Well, let me ask you this. Is this function, is it this one, or is it this one? And as much as I hate this uh, mnemonic device, you can remember that if you have negative x squared, it's negative, so it's a frowny face. Isn't that cute? Uh, right, so it's a little frowny face. And I know how pathetic that is, but it happens to be true, and if all you need is a way to memorize that, then, and that the shape of an x squared is this is positive so positive means smiley face okay I'm sorry it's pathetic but this is where we are isn't it we also know that we have these zeros we have one one of the zeros is at positive two so we have positive two here don't we and we have one here at so this is two and we have one here at negative two isn't that right so I'm just trying to get an idea of what this function looks like so I'm saying okay the function looks like this it's a, it's a smiley face, isn't it? So it goes down like this. Uh, when x is 0, y is negative 4. So x equals 0, y equals negative 4. So we have this, right? So it does this. This is going to be a horrible picture, but it does this, doesn't it? And this is x squared minus 4. However, the problem seems to be this, that when we get here, the, this is a right. This is the point zero negative four, but we want the absolute value. So when x is zero, so x is zero here. Zero squared is zero minus four, but the absolute value of negative four is positive four. So, so there's a little bit of a surprise here for us in this. That we are anticipating this happening, but what really happens is this thing is actually flipped over like this, isn't it? Okay, so if you're wondering when are we getting to the part where we use the calculator, we're getting to it right now, but I just want to make sure that you see this. We're asked for the interval from 0 to 3. So what we're asked for is this, right? Our reader, right, our AP calculus reader is saying to us, he or she wants this area. So where is it? First thing I'll do is I'm going to show this person that I know where that area is, what he or she is talking about. So it would look like this, wouldn't it? Right? And this is x equals 0 and this is x sorry equals 3 so can I hope we can agree that the area that we're interested in is this area right here plus this area right here right well if you follow the area in black it's doing exactly what we had anticipated it doing right it is this right it's doing this so let me show you what I think is going to happen here I think what's happening here is this I think that we're going to find the definite integral from 0, because that's where we're supposed to start, to, to 2 of the opposite of what we see here. The opposite of x squared minus 4, so the opposite of minus 4 is positive 4 dx. Plus, and, I, and I'm, what I'm saying to you is I think that's this area right here. Because it's the area that's doing the opposite of what we anticipated the curve doing. In black is what we thought was going to happen. And then we want the area from, from 2 to 3, right, of x squared plus 4 dx. And I'm hoping you're buying this with me because I think it's a really good argument. So now let's go to the calculator and just, if nothing else, let's just fish through our argument here. I'm not going to walk you through the fundamental theorem of calculus. I'm not going to integrate this. Uh, I'll just do it with a calculator. But I wanted you to see 
what I hope you're going to be able to see as you're doing this. Because if you can, just this picture here is worth some of your points on the AP exam. And this piece right here is worth a boatload of your points. So let's, let's move on and try this, shall we? So let's go here and let's go to graphs and let's put this thing in. I said that I thought it looked like this. That it looked like x squared minus 4, right? That was the first picture we drew in black. And there's that picture, right? And then remember, there was this opposite picture in here. And, and I said, I think that's the opposite of that thing. And I want to prove that because if this is positive x squared minus 4, then the opposite of that would be the opposite of x squared, right? The opposite of minus 4 is plus 4, so plus 4. And that... So what I think is, what I think is that this piece right here in red all the way to here, and then all the way up on this green piece, all the way over to here, and back to here, I think that is this whole curve, and I can prove it. Okay, so here's my proof to you. I'm going to type this in, ABS, and if you take ABS, it's absolute value. Remember to open the parentheses, and then it's going to type this in, X squared minus 4, just like we started out within the problem, right? Remember that I said, I think it's going to be the red part here, the green part here, and the red part over here, and not the red part down here. And voila. This is what we have to be able to see when we're doing this a these AP calculus exams. This is money in the bank to us. Right? Let's do one more really quickly, just so we can get a look at it. Okay? What if what we had was this? What if we were looking for the absolute value? Let's go to graphs again. And... Now I'm suggesting to you, what if I said to you this, um, find from, well, let's make this absolute value of 2x minus 3. And what if I said I wanted it from 0 to 4, right? My question to you is, what does this look like? Well, the first thing I'm going to do just like on the last one, and I'm going to ask myself, when does the inside function equal 0? And then I'm going to solve, and x will equal 3 halves, right? The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this. This is linear, so you have to know that the general shape will be a v, right? So this is 1, so at 3 halves, so somewhere near here, 3 halves, this thing is going to look like this. All right, so let's just take a look. I don't want to make the whole argument about what's going to happen here, but let's take a look at what does happen. So let's go back. Let's insert a graph. So here's a graph. And so we had 2x minus 3, right? So we have 2, and we wanted the absolute value of 2x minus 3, right? And here, I'm just making my argument here. So here's 2x minus 3. And look, it passes right to this point I thought it was going to pass through, right? And then the other one, this is a piecewise function. The other one will be the opposite of 2x minus 3. Well, the opposite of 2x minus 3 will be negative 2x, not minus 3, but plus 3. I'm taking the exact opposite of these values right here, right? And hit enter. So let me ask you now, what do you think that the absolute value, if I put the absolute value bars here, if I put the absolute value bars here, what is that going to look like? And I'm suggesting to you, I think it's going to do this. It's going to give, let me get a better color. I think it's going to give us this piece right here, right? That's my argument to you. And that's what we're trying to get figured out. But you have to be able to figure out when each piece is applicable. That's a good word. Um, so let's try it, shall we? All I'm going to do, this is the end of my video for you. I promise it's just to show you the absolute value of 2x minus 3 and hit enter and there it is right and remember that we were asked to give the area from 0 to 3 and that is of particular interest to us because we have to use both parts of the function right because they want it from x equals 0 to x equals 2 3 to x equals 3 right so they're looking we're looking for this area aren't we all right. Look, I hope this was really helpful, and I hope that you give me a comment, and I hope that you like my video, and, and um, maybe even that you repost it on your Facebook or something nice for me. Uh, you guys are great, and I appreciate your help, and I hope I was helpful for you. Ciao.